Hey guys, welcome to Storytime with Timmy, and today we're going to be reading The Fox of Fazbear's The Fifth Child. Instead of doing some talking, we're just going to get right into the story because this is a short part. Okay guys, so without further ado, let's get started. The Fox of Fazbear's The Fifth Child. My heart would be pounding if it still could. I can't let it in just as we're about to win. I scream at Body, thrusting my head forward and snapping my jaws, sinking my teeth in the top half of his face, crunching down to his endoskeleton. He cries out. Pulling his head back. Big mistake. His face pulled off his head. Most of his endoskeleton coming out with it. He falls limp, crashing to the floor. His spirit floats above the corpse, over the purple rabbit. The ghost looking at me with his dead eyes, before whimpering quietly, unable to do anything else. I push myself to the table, unhinging Foxy's jaws, to spit off the funny's face and locking down, and sadly at his spirit, before turning towards the fight behind me. Bray had the guard by his wrists, against the wall, laying out his deep, terrifying laugh. You're strong, but you're not ready for Freddy. He growls, and I'm sure he would smile if he is allowed to. Looks like we're finally going to get a suit of your own. He starts to drag the guard away to the backstage, who's struggling to break away. His eyes find me in the dark, and he shouts with a strange, mixed, feminine voice. Foxy, don't just stand there. He pleads, help me. Okay, guys, uh, that's a short part, so this will be uploaded, and yeah, I'm sorry, guys, I didn't know it was a short before I finished the last reading. And hey, guys, just leave a like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Guys, I don't got nothing else to say, so without further ado, you know what time it is. Cue the outro. Dun 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 d